Good morning, big family. So today is the day of harvest. We've been picking here and there. We've been getting little ripe red tomatoes here and there and some nice ones. But today we're going to harvest a good bit of tomatoes. I'm probably going to have this whole thing full of tomatoes. So come on, let's pick them. Well, that's a big basil plant. Oh yeah, I had to knock the basil out of the way just to get to them. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. And see, I saw them blushing, but I waited mm -hmm. until they were fully red. And I know we got to use them up quicker that way because, you know, they're fully red and they're ripe now. And they, mm -hmm. they'll go bad like in a week or so. But I wanted to let them well, fully some are, ripen. Yeah, some of them are, you know, that one needs a little bit more ripening. Mm -hmm. So it'll be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have no them. bug damage, like no mm -hmm. holes. I, I like, can't goodness. believe that. Oh. That's crazy. I mean, we're getting some luscious tomatoes. Mm -hmm. now. This one, I mean, a little bit of spots or whatever, but I mean, for the most part, that's that's yep. beautiful. And the ones that we picked before now were um, mostly blushed, but I picked them a little early. I was mm -hmm. so scared the bugs were going to get them. I picked them a little early, so the yeah, bugs wouldn't yeah. get them. You picked them kind of like that yeah, one. Yeah, like that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll leave that one like one or two more days. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one could use like one more day. Ooh, look at all those maters. So, ooh, ooh, and cherry the, tomatoes glory. The basil has just fallen in the yeah. house. Like the basil is just everywhere, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. That's a good problem to have, right? Basil is a good thing. But yeah, the cherry tomatoes have just been prolific. I mean, you thought we had a lot of cherry tomatoes last year. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got some cherry tomatoes now. <laughs> my goodness so, and if you want i can go ahead and pick all the big slicers that are blushing um and we can just let them ripen on the counter if you want or i can i don't know i think i think they're, <laughs> we got a bunch inside on the counter oh, so no, may yeah. as well just let these keep on ripening out here huh so all of our dinners and recipes we're going to be doing are going to include tomatoes mm -hmm. yep <laughs> lots of tomato food right here yep and the other night we made the the peas the field peas and yeah. tomatoes i mm -hmm. cut up Oh, I cut up at least eight or nine tomatoes and put it in there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it was good. So good. And okra. We put okra in it. Our yeah. okra in it. Yep. So what we're rich in right now is okra and field peas and tomatoes. That's what's coming in right now. Mm -hmm. Them. That's what I was waiting for because they're purple whole peas, right? They never turn purple. Thought they never turn purple. They just they yellow, yellow barreled. Yes, watch out for ants because yeah, they like to. Work. They farm the aphids on the beans. I'll hold the bucket. How about that? Yeah, you want to meet us on the other side? Yeah. And more rain coming this week, like it's just gonna get worse. So, because they'll cook up the same. Some of these are dried and shriveled. Yeah. It really is this rain and humidity. Just wet, like a soft and wet blanket. Yeah. Very good. Like, look at that, the whole thing is split open. Wow. Like that's how much rain we got. It's about as ready as it's going to get. Going about as far as it can go. It like rained and then it didn't rain for like a week. A lot of dried ones here. Are these any good? Yeah, if they're dry. Yeah, all the dry yeah, ones are good. they're not moldy. Yep. 
Anyone's turning purple or getting dry and crispy, go ahead and get them. Or busting open, go ahead and get them. Or yellow. Or yellow. Can you squeeze it and crack it open? You know what I mean? Get I, got your no, own. I ain't got no nails. I cut all my nails, or bit all my nails. Here, I'll get it. There you go. Peel it open. The peels go in here. <laughs> got it? It's hard because I can have nails. The peels go in here and the shell goes in here, okay? I usually do it like this. Well, you can, but they're very hard. They're not very soft, but you can eat it because it's a pea. It's a field pea. Not a sweet pea, it's a field pea. It's a yummy pea. It's a yummy pea. Oh, the butter. Butter, you gonna help me? <laughs> He's just snuggling. So if you eat seasonally or eat out of your garden, I mean, you're going to eat whatever is coming in yep. right now, whatever's mm -hmm. harvesting. And we're still picking blueberries. Yeah. yeah. Still picking bowls full of blueberries. They're almost done. Blueberries are almost done. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting handfuls of these cherry tomatoes. Just, yeah. And I, I, yeah. I'm one that likes to cut up cherry tomatoes in um, eggs, in my scrambled eggs. I'll yep. eat, uh, cut up some cut up cherry tomatoes in a salad sometimes, but mostly I like cherry tomatoes in other kinds of food other than salad. Mm -hmm. That's bad one. Now some of these cherry tomatoes are the orange kind. Mm -hmm. I planted the see all these orange ones. Yeah. I planted the orange and the red kind, so I've been getting these little orange huh. ones. And this need to trellis this up, yeah, don't I? That fell over. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. That fell over. I don't even know how to trellis that. Like, that's all the way to the top of the dang greenhouse. Like, <laughs> holy guacamole. And if you fight your way through the jungle to the uh -huh. other side, there's more on the other side. <laughs> I just kind of pick as I go. Whew. So many meters, and these are the orange ones, right? The are the yellow ones. Yeah. So I was so excited about my first yellow tomato, uh -huh. but I've been finding more and more of these little yellowy yeah. orange tomatoes. I don't. They taste like. They kind of citrusy. Citrus. Yeah, yeah. Citrus tomato, like yeah. a, a cross between like a, a orange and a, and a tomato. I know that sounds weird, mm -hmm. but it's got that lovely citrus bite, and there's yeah. so much meat in there. There's mm -hmm. like uh, less juice and more meat of a tomato. Yeah, I don't know what kind it was you planted, but. Well, I think, I mean, if I remember like correctly. maybe Chef's Choice or something? I know one of them was Chef's Choice, and I think I did a little Lemon Boy. Um, oh, maybe that's what it was, a Lemon Boy. That would make sense because they're citrusy yeah. and they're yellow. Yeah, that would make sense. I bet that's what it was. Now, the dark tomatoes haven't made as many tomatoes for me. But, but they're so then, good. Yeah, every now and then I get that dark tomato. Mm -hmm. Yep, that these purple. ones with the green on yeah. the top and the... Yeah. yeah, they're really good. And if I go back to the video of when I planted, I can figure out what red mm -hmm. that was. It was like black chef's choice or something like that. Black, uh, black something. And these are, oh, that one's big. They got kind of a smoky flavor yeah. to them. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just waiting on that one to turn. Mm -hmm. You see the bundles of green ones? Oh, yeah. So, so many tomatoes. There's bunches of green that haven't turned. Yep. Look in here. Look at you. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. well, it is. Oh no! Oh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. see, that's what'll happen if I leave them too long. That's what happens yep. to them. So I'm gonna have to throw that one to the chickens. But this one, oh yeah, see, and I'm gonna get this one before yep, a bug that can one's get pretty. it. Yep. I'm gonna eat it before a bug gets it. Right. Oh, it's got not favorite. Yeah, we have an abundance of plant matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much the, the toothache plant came back in full force it there. Did. 
I found out it's hard to kill mm -hmm. a two-cake plant. That's good. I love it. <laughs> that one's good. I'll take that one. Oh, and then these pretty ones on the end. Oh, yeah. Look at these ones. Yep. See a couple of holes here and there. I got to get them before the bugs do. The bugs have discovered that they are ripe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, about the time that you notice that uh, the tomatoes are getting ripe, the bugs notice it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a race to get to it first. Look at there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Makes me hungry just looking at them. Well, I didn't feel it, but I got nope, a good... Nope, but you got a good yeah, bit. That's yeah. That's a good load of tomatoes right there. Ooh, honey, did you see your pumpkins over here? Yeah, I know. Like, it died off. It looked like it was going to die off. And then all of a sudden, it's like it rerooted in the ground over here. Yeah. And it just took off. Well, this one over here did even better. Like, yep. It did even better. But... I thought for sure that like it was the end, like I was ready for the plant to die and like that mm -hmm. to be it. I was ready for it to peter out, but then it didn't. Yeah, this one, like look, so that, it looks like it's on death's door and it started, the plant started to die off and then it rerooted in the ground it's and just, to, like, well, yeah. you see it. I mean, it's covering so much. It's, it's crawling up my basil. It's overwhelming yeah. my it's roses. It's everywhere. It it's over. crazy. It's like a wave that just travels over. Yeah, the and it's got pumpkins growing on it. So I don't even know what kind of pumpkin that was. This time, let's see what we can do about keeping the chickens uh -huh. out, of, out of this space. This, yeah. Because yep. if it does make more pumpkins, I don't want the chickens. I don't want to lose it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It was this a, a super moon as well? Um, do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, I know yeah, it made it, a pumpkin yeah, and it, it the is, chickens yeah, ate it. it. It made two giant pumpkins right here. So this is the big white one, yeah. the huge white super moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. And your zinnias are still going. They're still going. <laughs> yep. Looks good, baby. You done good. A lot of holy basil and we need to I pick mean, some and freeze dry yeah, it. So I was gonna say it's time for harvest, but yeah. also um let me pull some weeds out while I'm talking. <laughs> But also, I wanted to do some tea today. I was just going to come out and grab me some holy basil yep. tea because it's just such a super um, yep. good herb for your body. It's like it's one of those super herbs that you drink it in the tea and it just it does all these wonderful things for your body. Yep. It's like a healing herb. And they use um, uh, holy basil or it's also called Tulsi. They use that a lot in like Ethiopian cooking as yeah. well. Yep. So and It has that really good smell. Mm -hmm. It's not like regular basil. It has a... I, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's hard to describe it. It's a different kind of smell. It smells more earthy and yep. more, more tea-like. It's more of an earthy yep. smell. And they make a, they actually make a butter out of it. I don't yeah. know if you remember when I did that, but they take the, like the dried, um, they dry the leaves and then they'll take the leaves and they um, melt some butter down and they put the leaves in the butter. I don't know. And then that. they make, oh. yeah, they make almost like a um, compound butter what? using the holy basil nice. then they oh, use nice. that in their food <laughs> as it's climbing oh wow up, as it's climbing up the side of this container it's putting off it's putting off pumpkins. a pumpkin so if you hanging see a, up here if you see a pumpkin sitting in my holy basil just uh -huh. uh, you know uh, don't, don't worry about it it's just normal <laughs> all is normal and our our marigolds that just kind of volunteered. volunteered up <laughs> yeah and that is just cool i don't know if y'all can see that let me walk in here yeah the tunnel is awesome it's just cool in here Look at that. Look at all those. Look at all those bottle gourds. All the loofahs. Like, that's so awesome. You've done such a great job in here, Thank baby. You, Thank you. And we got more purple hole peas coming up. And these are what? Pumpkins? Um, yes. So more pumpkins the the red uh is it curry pumpkins what was that red oh curry? the red curry red it's like curry. a winter squash yeah yeah you, you told me that you wanted some of them so i threw yep. the seed in here and i believe that's that's, that's what, that, what is. that is yeah awesome Butterscotch, come here. Come here, bud. Butterscotch. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Come here, butterscotch. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Oh, yes. You too, Jackie. Yes, you too. Hey, Dopey baby. Yeah, hey, Dopey puppy. Oh, hey, my love. What you doing? 
You're relaxing. Yeah, you're just chilling. That's a happy boy. That's a happy boy. That's a happy baby puppy. I love you. Love you. Oh, I love you, dopey puppy. So sweet. So sweet. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, we've been cooking up a storm in here and harvesting and playing in the garden. But another thing that we have to do uh, today and all this week is we have to go to rehearsal. I think I mentioned mm -hmm. before to y'all that we're in a play. We're in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. It's the city production that they're putting on of Oklahoma. And Wes and I are in the play along with Lily. Lily. Yeah. Lily's in it too. But um, I brought home my basket because I had to finish decorating it. Y'all see? For the basket auction. And so there's a basket auction scene in Oklahoma. If you've ever watched the, the musical Oklahoma, you got to watch it. There's this auction scene where the ladies have their baskets of, uh, of goodies of lunch and food and stuff. So I had to decorate a basket because I'm one of the, the chorus girls, one of the ladies, you know, so... Uh, and this is my lovey, mm -hmm. <laughs> my little husband that gets to dance with me. He gets to do -si do and two-step with me. But um, yeah, so I had to decorate that basket. Mm -hmm. I think my uh, picked out the costume, the outfit is ready. And the, I had to match it to my dress. That's why it's light blue and dark blue. So I had to match it to my dress. Um, but I think, I think everything's almost ready. We're mm -hmm. working on props and painting and we're going to start going through the whole thing. The whole thing yep. Pretty soon mm -hmm. we're going to do dress rehearsals and go through the whole thing on stage and just make sure that it's ready because we only have a couple of weeks. I think we're down to two weeks. Mm, two and a half, something like two that. Two and a half yep. weeks so, until the play. Yep. If you guys want to come see it, if you're around anywhere in the vicinity, it's going to be at the Thomasville Civic Center. You can just type it into Google Maps. It'll pop up. Thomasville, Alabama Civic Center. And it's on July 26th, 27th, 28th. I think it's 26th, 27th, 28th, and maybe 29th. Yeah, 29th too. 29th there's, too. there's four, yeah. four showings. Yeah, four so. showings. So, yeah, all the way through the 29th. Yeah, if you guys, I know um, I know some of you are, aren't are too far away. Some of you are fairly local-ish, so, like Monticello yeah, area it, it or was, wherever. Yeah. But if you want to come, those are the dates of it. Yeah. You'll see, you know, me, Lily, and Angie, we don't have... We don't have main roles, but, but you'll see us. You'll see us. We're in it a good bit. We're yeah. in all the scenes, all the main big scenes that that have um, that have the whole so, group in it. Little do y'all know, our talents are not just limited to gardening <laughs> and homesteading. We also sing and dance and act. <laughs> so y'all get to see us in a production. Y'all get to see yeah. us in a play. So if you're anywhere within driving distance and you have time, or your family's yeah. in town, or you mm -hmm. just want to go do something and see a play, mm -hmm. buy a ticket. Just come on one of those nights and come see us at the play. So. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's not. It, yeah. it, it's gonna be really good. It, it's definitely gonna be really good. I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. Yep. Yeah. So I gotta get ready for rehearsal uh, this afternoon, and um, we gotta get to putting up and preserving some of this harvest and freezer bags or something. And we've been giving some of it away even because, like I said, we're we're rich and swimming in the harvest right now. So I will see you guys later on the next one. I love you. Bye.